Hey everyone, I'm Stephanie Mullen from RampantDesignTools.com and today I'm going to talk all about Rampant Studio Mats Volume 2. And I'm going to show you a few techniques that will get you up and running and allow you to get the most out of your Animita mats in Final Cut Pro 10. Now before I start, if you're not familiar with Rampant Studio Mats, head over to RampantStudioMats.com. Here you'll see Studio Mats Volume 2 and all the other amazing mat products available from Rampant. There are Studio Mats, Glitch Mats, Hip Hop Mats, Mat Transitions, and so many more. There are so many unique mats for you to add to your video today. All right, let's jump back over to Final Cut and get started using these mats. And today I'm going to be showing you these techniques. I'm going to show you how to add a basic mat to your video, how to add color effects using the mats, how to add effects built into Final Cut, and then I will show you how to use the separate mat pieces and build a multi-video collage. All of these techniques are really simple, and once you master them, there is no stopping what you will create with your next video production. All right, now we're going to get ready to start. Now the first thing we have to do is we have to import our mats into Final Cut. How do we do that? Well, there's a couple ways. I can come up here, I can go File, Import Media, and then go find my folder wherever it's saved and say import all. Or I can create an event like this and I can call this Studio Mats V2 and then I can go pull up my finder window. I can highlight the folder and I can drag that into my media folder just like that. Any way you want, just get your import your uh, files into Final Cut and then you'll be ready to start. All right, here are all of our files. And I'm just gonna shrink this, bring this down just a little bit so you can see all of these files. These mats are amazing, I love it. And I wanna show you a few cool things, I'm gonna scroll all the way to the top. I wanna to show you a few, few cool things about these mats. You will see here, there's all these little pieces. What are these pieces? Well, these pieces are gonna to form together to give you one mat. Instead of using masking and different techniques, Rampant is giving you each individual mat so you can put individual pieces of video in there. And if I go to the list view here, like this, you'll be able to see all of the different numbers. So like this one's part is, is number one, but it has two parts. So part one, part two, like this. So you can see them quickly up there. Number two, part one, part two, and you can scroll down and see that. So maybe you have a three piece video that you wanna to put together. Well, it's easy to come to your list view, say, okay, well, number 11 has three parts. What does that look like? Oh, well, it's right here. I can skim it and go, oh, that's kind of nice. That may work for my video. Uh, maybe I need something a little more. So I can go scroll down here, to, Farther down, here's one with five pieces, so number 41. Then I can do a scroll, ooh, that's kinda neat. All right, so I love how these are labeled, and I love how I can see how many parts there are. Now, each of these also, even though they come with parts, there's also a full one like this. So you can use the mat as a full mat. You don't have to put individual pieces of video in each of these. It's just an added thing that Rampant's given us that we can to make our lives a lot easier. All right, well, we're gonna start doing these mats and putting them on our video. So let's look down here at our video. We have this mat right here, or this uh, image right here, this car rolling along the road. That's really simple. And I'm gonna go ahead and put a mat on here. And I wanna show you, I'm gonna go down here. I wanna show you that there are a few mats that don't have parts. What's going on there? Well, if I click on it, I will show you what's going on there. This one doesn't have a part because it's only one part. The same with 19. Okay, which goes the other direction. So when you see a mat, it's not you're not missing pieces. It, it only has one piece. So we're gonna go ahead and grab that. And this is the simple technique. I'm gonna drop it on top of my video. I'm gonna cinch it up so it matches my edit point. And now we have this. All right, very simple. Now all we're gonna do is we're gonna click on our mat. We're gonna go up to our inspector. If your inspector is not showing, if it, if it just looks like this, click on this little button right here. Bring up your inspector. And then we're gonna change the blend mode from normal to stencil alpha, and boom. There's our video inside, I can roll that back. And we have this amazing mat on our video. I love the way that looks. Now, from here there are a couple different things I wanna point out. The very first thing is, this is not a background. This black color you're seeing right here is nothing. It's just blank video. So you can put anything back here that you would like. Maybe you wanna change the color. You can put a color back here. Maybe you wanna add video, you can put video back here. So let's go ahead and do that. Let's go to our generators and we're gonna grab a solid, and you're gonna grab your solid and you're gonna put it on top of your mat, and then you're I'm gonna make this a little smaller. And then you're gonna cinch that up to match your edit. Now we can make this color anything in this mat anything we want, so let's make it, let's make it blue. All right, then all we need to do for this to go, we need to be able to put this behind these two layers right here. How do we do that? Well, we select it, go back to our inspector and change normal to behind. And there we go. So now we have this custom color mat behind our mat coming across our car. Pretty easy. 
All right, and then you can do the same thing with video. So I'm just gonna go ahead and delete that color frame. And I'm just gonna grab a copy of this uh, piece of footage right here. I'm gonna put it up here. And you're gonna do the exact same thing we just did with that color. You're going to go over here to the inspector and change it from normal and change it to behind. And that's how easy it is. Super simple. Add video back there, add a color uh, generator, a solid back there. Any, anything you'd like, you can put in this black space right here, this empty space. Okay, let's move on to our next example. And we're gonna be talking about color effects with this example. So I'm gonna go back to my mat list. I'm gonna go ahead and grab my mat. And this one I'm gonna use, I'm gonna use this number 16. I want you, want you to see what it does. You will see here that there are three parts. There's a part here, part here, and part here. Now Rampant has separated these out. So this is a mat, which is right. There's one here. All right, so we have this one. You have this one, which is the top little bar, and then this one's gonna be the little bar at the bottom, okay? You can put pieces of video in all of these if you would like. I don't wanna do that. I'm gonna use this entire mat as is, which is really nice. I love that Rampant has included the full mat in there instead of just the pieces. So let's go ahead and grab that, drag it down, drop it on top of our video, cinch it up so it matches, and now we have this, okay? Pretty easy. So to get this video inside here, we just change this to stencil alpha. Okay, that's simple. Now, what if we want to make this, the video in here a different color? What if we want to add a color effect? What we're gonna do is we're gonna hold down option. I'm gonna drag a copy of this video layer up. All right, and now I'm gonna, now what we're seeing is we have the same thing, okay? So now what we're gonna be doing is we're gonna add effects to this second layer right here, this, this uh, copy layer. And I can come over here and I can go to the color panel, my effects panel, and I can add any of these colors that I like. I can also come down to the looks and Final Cut has all these really cool looks already built in. You can roll, scroll over top of them, see what they look like. Some of these are really cool. I love the way this looks. Oh, I like the sci-fi one. So what we're gonna do is let's just grab the sci-fi, let's drop it on. And there's our effect. Okay, the color effect is being is affecting the video layer and the mat is still there. So now how do we get to see this video layer under here? Well, we could bring this video layer up here and say behind, but if I have an entire build here on my storyline, I don't really want to do that because it could mess things up. So right now all I'm gonna do is select all of these, the top two clips, right click, say new compound clip, say okay, and boom, there we go. So now there you go. So we didn't have to use that behind trick when you already have a edit built. This is a, using a compound clip is a lot easier. All right, so that's how you add a color effect. Now, if you wanted to change that color effect, all you do is double click on your compound clip and then you can come over here and you can put all different kinds of uh, effects on there, okay? So that's that. That is adding a color effect there. Perfect, now let's move on to example number three and this is using effects again. So let's go ahead and grab our mat and let's just go ahead and grab the next one down and let's cinch it up. All right, so now we have this. That's perfect. And I want to create this, I want to take this video and I want to put it inside here, but I want to add an effect to this. So I'm going to hold down option, make a copy, and now I can add effects to this. Let's go ahead and change our mat to stencil alpha. And now we can come and we can add any of these built in effects that come in Final Cut. All right, there's all kinds of things like newsprint and security, if I click on this, here we go. Like this, you can do a newsprint, security. I mean, all these are really cool. Like watch, let's just do this, just see what it looks like. Okay, so that's kind of interesting. Looks like they're on surveillance, right? So you can add any of these effects that you want. And I can also add some of my rampant Final Cut Essentials to this as well. There's some really cool quick effects in here. And I wanna go to the quick looks and let's just go ahead and find like this high uh, high contrast with the grain. So let's throw that on there, it looks kind of neat. And then again, we're just going to select both of those clips and say new compound clip. And now when I roll that back, you will see the mat affecting it. That's perfect. All right, so it's kind of like they're lost and they're having this moment of where are we going with their map. Okay, so it's, it gives you a really cool effect. It's a great for title plates and anything interesting. And again, if you wanted to go ahead and change this, this effect that's on here, double click your compound clip, and then you can either get rid of your past um, uh, effect and then come to your, like maybe let's just throw this, let's just see what the security thing looks on here. It's just kind of crazy. So rewind that. 
There you go. So now you have this really interesting built-in effect from Final Cut. Okay, super cool, super easy to change the effects. I actually like that other effect, so let's go ahead and change that back. Like that. And put that back there. So now we have this. Love the way that looks. Okay, so, so far, let's see what we have here. We've created a single mat, super easy, the easiest technique. You can add a color, you can put video back there. We've added a color effect here on top of our video, and then we've added a built-in effect from Final Cut. I love the way that works, and it's so easy to do. All right, the very last example I'm gonna show you is I'm gonna show you how to build a multi-layer video collage, and with these parts and pieces, it's really, really simple to do. So I'm gonna be coming down here, and I'm gonna be using mat number 42. I already know how many parts I have. I'm going to have six parts. Here's what my mat looks like. All right, so there's my six parts. Got one, two, three, four, five, six. Now I'm going to put my pieces of video in each of these boxes. Now the first thing I want to do, I don't, as you can see here, I don't have any footage in my in my storyline because I want to make, I want to show you how to build this and how I build this to get this to look right. So I have my videos here, and I like to stack them up based on number one through six. So I'm going to go through my videos here and go, okay. Well, number one is going to be this girl right here. So she's going to be on my primary storyline. And I'm just going to cut off a lot of her extra footage because we don't need all this. So cut all that off. There she is. That's one. Now let's go ahead and find two. That's two. Again, I'm going to cut off all that extra. And then find three. There's three. And since she's that short, let's just shrink everybody else up. Perfect. And then let's go find four, which would be these girls in the ocean. And let's find five, which is going to be the guy with the heart. Here we go. I'm just showing you how to build your, your storyline to make it this, I think it just keeps it a lot nicer and more organized. And this is going to be our final clip. All right, so now if you look here, you've got one, two, three, four, five, six. And you can reverse these. You can do one at the top, all the way down. It doesn't matter which order you do it in. I like to build from the top to the bottom. All right, so now we're going to put in our mats. So let's go back to our studio mats. And again, we're looking at number 42 because we're going to put each of these pieces in. Now you will notice that these are numbered. Um, sometimes they're not numbered the way you would like. Um, so you can kind of go through and figure out. So this is number two for me, but it says part one. But I'm going to put this as number two. So I'm going to drag it down. I'm going to place it above my clip number two. I'm going to bounce everything up just like that, and I'm going to shrink it up. So that's number two. Then there's number, this number is going to be uh, five. So let's go ahead and put this on number five. So let's bounce up layer number five just like that. Just stick it on there. Let's go do number, number, this next one is layer four. So bounce up layer four. All right, then shrink that up. And then let's go to our next piece, which is gonna be the very last piece. That's the easiest one. So that's number six, put that on top, shrink it up. Then the next one. That's going to be number three. So let's go down to number three, pop it, pop that up and shrink that up. And then the very last one is going to be number one. Okay. So that's going to be all the way down here. If it will let me scroll down and we're going to pop up that very last layer and put our number one mat in there. Okay. So now we have one, two, I'm going to see if I can make this a little bit smaller so you can see it. All right, so we've got one, two, three, four, five, and six. Really, really easy to build. Now let's start at the top, and we're going to start putting these mats in uh, these frames, okay? Now we're going to bring this down just a little bit. All right, so here's our very first one. So here's the mat. So let's go ahead and click on the map, mat, change the mat blend mode from normal to stencil alpha. Now we can click on our video layer, and I can scale it down and move it over and fill it in just perfectly so it matches where I want it to be. And we can play that through and watch. All right, that looks really good. I like the placement. Maybe I want this to be a little bit different timing. So let's just change that. So now we've got this 
coming through. Beautiful. Now what we're going to do is we have to compound clip these two clips. So once you have your video clip and you like the positioning of it, highlight both of your, both your mat and your video clip, right click and say new compound clip. Say okay. All right. So now we get to move on to the next clip and we're going to go here. I'm just going to fill this clip up and then we're going to work with the scale and we're going to bring it down. I want that heart to be pretty much in the center. Maybe scale it down just a little bit more. Watch your frame edges here. Make sure that your frame, your video clip doesn't go inside the mat. That will be bad. So now let's go ahead and make this stencil alpha. Make sure the position is pretty good. We can change that. Let's move it over. Perfect. Now we're going to highlight both of these. Right click, new compound clip, say OK. Moving on to this clip right here. So let's go ahead and change the stencil alpha first. And then let's go ahead and move that clip around and move it down. Okay, you'll see here that I made it a little too small. So let's go ahead and scale it back up. And perfect. So now let's, I like the, the position of that. So let's go ahead and highlight everything. Make sure you highlight the right ones. Right click, new compound clip. Perfect so far. Let's keep moving on. We're on number three. All right, so we're going to first, let's make stencil alpha on our mat. And then let's move our girl over and scale her down just a little bit. All right, that looks really nice. Again, let's hold, highlight everything, right click, new compound clip, say okay. Moving on to the next one, let's go ahead and stencil alpha our mat. Then let's reposition our clip. Don't scale it down too much. Looks pretty good right about there. All right, I like that, perfect. Now let's go ahead and highlight everything. Right click, new compound clip, okay. Very last one, let's do stencil alpha on the mat. And then let's move our clip, let's scale it down a little, move it over, and then fit it back in and you're done. Just like that. Now if we, if we rewind this and play it through, just like that. Perfect. You just put in six pieces of video, didn't need a plug-in, didn't need anything else. I, can, I have free range to move these around now if I want to. Like all I need to do is double click each of these compound clips. I can come in here. I can throw an effect on here. I can do anything that I want to these video clips now. Um, it is completely up to up to me. So I can put on effects that are that are in uh, inside here. So I can throw on this newsprint and it goes to and it, it transfers over to our final project. Anything I want, it's really, really nice to do. Now you have this. If you wanted to put a color background back here, all you have to do is come over here to generators, grab a solid, put it on top again, shrink it up to match your edit, and then you can change the color. We can change it from black to white. And then we all we need to do is change the blend mode from normal and put it behind. And that's it. Okay, so quickly and easily, we just made this really cool multi, um, multi matte uh, multi-video image and it didn't take any time at all. Here we go. Beautiful. So, so, so easy. And that's that. Now you know how to get the most out of your Studio Mats Volume 2. I really hope you have enjoyed this tutorial. Once again, this is Stephanie Mullen with RampantDesignTools.com. Thanks for watching.